What's up guys and gals? I wasn't gonna do another episode today. I was actually gonna call it a day because it's Friday and I'm ready for my weekend However at the same time I still really 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 want to play the game and I've not been playing it on the side Just so I can be like blind and all this and like sort of just make it a little bit more interesting by not knowing what I'm doing I know that sounds counterintuitive, but for YouTube for some reason it works We unlocked some new stuff over here when we got down to level 2 security rating We can actually get a new harpoon over here on this side. That's not what I wanted We can get a new harpoon in here a level 4 and it can destroy fortified structures and so that seems like a really really good plan to me we'll go ahead and take that in addition on top of that it can then pull armored tire or unarmored tires off so if they only you know how they have like the little shield above their vehicle if we can knock the armor off then we can pull the tires off which would be pretty cool and I'm excited about that do we have ammo yet this guy said he wanted to talk to me so let's go have a talk with him this pain, this pain is driving me nuts and bolts well, maybe you shouldn't ram things through the side of your head, and then you wouldn't have that problem. It seems like one sort of enables the other, doesn't it? I mean, realistically, though, he said he wanted to talk to me right before I started recording. This is weird. All right, then. Well, never mind. I want to hang out with you anyways. How come we have you now and not before? Because I wasn't around, but now I'm in town, and I'm ready to throw down with a bunch of clowns out in the downs. I don't even know what else to say here. We can keep rhyming it for as long as we want to, but... I think we're looking all right right now. I think we needed to work on gut gashes territory a little bit in order to make this work better. And I I think that's acceptable. I mean, we didn't get that right there because I didn't... Is the gas in the back of the car still... Oh, good. It saved my gas. That's good. What I'm going to do then is I think we're going to work our way across here. We're going to hit all these scarecrows. We're going to try and get that gas camp right there. I don't know if I have any sniper rounds, though. So we might want to get up on top of that, and also we need to talk to Griffa. Let's go talk to Griffa real fast, because I've got so many upgrade points remaining. And actually... Nah, I think I'm good. I try to stay away from anything resembling the death runs. That's called, dis that's called dysentery. And eh, we're a little bit far from the pioneer periods for me to want to reinvigorate that one a little bit. I think we should be able to get pretty deep out here, though. I'm going to go talk to Griffa real fast so we can level up. That might be the reason why we haven't been finding much ammo around. I don't think I put points into it, actually. I think I neglected it, and so this might be, once again, me getting paid back for my stupidity as usual. Let's swing around the corner here. And to Griffa we go. Let me go ahead and back this in real quick. Yup. Back in job accomplished. Well done, everybody. Go ahead and take care of business. I got this covered. Time to go have this guy blow some more coke in our face and just be like, oh, isn't that funny? I'm the funniest guy at the party right now. Look, he's tripping out, dude. He's tripping out. Isn't that funny? And then everybody just hates you a little bit inside. You're like, you're like that guy that hides hash in the bowl and doesn't tell anybody. I'm just like, oh, you are a prick. What are you doing right now? Why must a vehicle be so important? Allies are a powerful aid. Even a dog can be a lifesaver. You focus your loyalty on a dead thing. I can drive a car. I'll cross the plains with silence in a car. People, get in my way. Do you trust a car? More than any man. We have a long way to walk. Let's look deeper. Okay, so this time around, I think I'm going to upgrade munitions because I never find, like, anything when I'm looking around for munitions. I'd also like to have my health a little bit higher. The water source is fine. Scrap's probably a useful thing to keep rocking all the time. Yep, we'll use that one too. We've got channeling, which lets me stay in fury mode longer. Intuition seems like a good thing to put in as well. I don't really care about these ones over here. I'm going to wait until my level gets a little bit higher before I use these. Once it starts to get really difficult to level, I'll use these ones. But for right now, it really does sort of seem like a waste, and so let's use less gas, I guess. That'll throw in the rest. I mean, we're not quite there yet, but we're looking pretty good right now. We're shined up something fierce. Is that that? Is that the caravan? I want to fight with a caravan. I want a mantelpiece or a hood piece or whatever you call it. Be super awesome, a hood ornament. Make my car like a Christmas tree, all nice and shiny. I've been singing Christmas songs lately. It's a big pet peeve of my significant other when you sing Christmas songs out of season. But I told her, because Elf is her favorite movie. It's like one of her favorites. I told her that the best part of, you know, the main part of spreading Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I don't remember if that was what it was exactly, but it works. 
And so, you know, you gotta sing Christmas songs throughout the year, keep people's spirits up. She said it makes her sad because it reminds her that it's not Christmas right now. I'm like, yeah, Christmas is pretty dope. I am a Christmas person. My parents actually grew up like really, really, really poor. And so they didn't get to have Christmases a lot of the time. Like both my mom and my dad kind of like, they grew up at a time period where people didn't have money, you know? Like it was a little bit rough out there. Are the tanks in the open though? I'm gonna boost out of that because I think he's gonna get me. I need to get this guy over here before he runs. Give me that nitrous, give me some nitrous. I'm gonna get him real quick. Ooh, look at you falling apart all over the place. Come on, we can get him. We can get him, I believe. I'm trying to, but we're too slow, damn it. I don't know if I want to do the bumper thing or if I want to rip. Let's rip off one of his tires. Never done that before, and it seems awesome. So there goes a buzzard vehicle, and it allowed us right after. Okay, so apparently we are the expeller now. I don't know if I would take that as a title, but we got to get back to where we're going. I will come back once we get out of Balefire and we're in the zone where we're going to actually do something interesting. And so we left Balefire. We got a couple of things to destroy over here. I really want to do some good damage while we're in the vicinity. Oh, look at you out here all alone on the road. Yep, you better get out of here. I'm going to take care of you, pal. I'm going to take care of you, buddy. I'm going to take care of you like a loving mother. You better not run. How are they all so much faster than me? It makes me sad. I wish my vehicle was fast enough to catch these guys. Because whenever they run away, I end up chasing them halfway across the wasteland. I got to use my nitrous to catch them. All these little bastards quicker than me, and it makes me sad. Look at this. We're losing ground right now just because I have to kill this guy. It upsets me that I don't get to kill him. Yup. Hey, how's it going? Bad day for you is how it's going. Woo! Knocked him up into the air and blew him into pieces. That's how we do it, the road warrior. It's kind of like Roadhouse, but with cars. Roadhouse. All right, so we were leaving this area, but then I decided to film, like, three minutes of me chasing a random car around. You know. I get excited sometimes, I get sidetracked, it's not a good thing, it's a thing that causes me a lot of trouble in life, but I've managed to parlay it into a semi-successful sort of dwindling career, I don't know, it's working out okay, for now. I don't know if I can drive over these, but I'm gonna try, because that's just the sort of man that I am. Got a scarecrow over here, it looks like one of the little wimpy ones though. Oh, I can't even, I was hoping when we got to higher levels I'd be able to pull it down just by retracting the winch. And off the cliff we go. Yep, totally worth it. I like destroying stuff with a little bit of flair, a little bit of debonair, a little bit of flying air. Oh, we got it down to security level four finally. Well, that's good. We got a little camp over here. Let's go take a look. Let's see who's pitching a tent off in this direction. Gigging. You thought that I forgot, didn't you? You thought that I forgot, but nope, it's still in there. I will make it happen, Gavin. Anybody in here that wants to protect any of their things, or can I just have them? Nobody's gonna. All right, whatever. Pop that on open. What we got here? Seventeen scrap. Not that useful. Wow. Why didn't people take their spears with them? I don't think I would leave my spear behind after I stab somebody with it. It's it's a waste. We live in a world where there's not enough materials around. If you make one spear, every spear that you leave behind, you gotta make a new one. It just kind of sucks. I don't think that I could do it. I'm just not that guy. We got a loot encounter over here if I can get back up on top of here. Unfortunately, we got a lot of rock walls around us, so I'm about to wait until I see an opening to jump back up there. In today's episode, really the only goal is to run around and do some of the random diminishing things that we need to do in order to make Gut Gash like us a little bit better. And so I'm basically just going to be doing a couple of like free roaming quests right now. Hopefully it works out in the end. We got a person over here who wants to talk for a bit. Hey! Don't step inside here! This boot trip's all over! I can't get out! Me bun puke tubes has gone blown to shreds already! I, I think we found a minefield. <laughs> it's funny when it's not you. Okay, it's not that funny, but you gotta find entertainment where you can in the wasteland. Humor's taking a major hit. Nobody wants complicated punchlines anymore. Oh, look at this little guy over here. The new enemy is the man cannon, huh? Your nickname is the man cannon? Why is your nickname the man cannon? Eh, I tried to get him. Unfortunately, it didn't go the way I wanted it to. However, I can... I can't get him through there. I can't get a tire either, unfortunately. There we go. Can I get a tire now? 
I cannot. Okay, well, let's get a better angle on him if we can. And from here, I might be able to rip off that tire and ground him. There we go. Now that they're no longer a problem, I think that's going to leave his vehicle as... I'm going to shoot this little bastard, too. Oh, God. Did I rip off his torso? What happened right there? It looks like his leg didn't... No, nope, his leg didn't come off, neither. I'm not sure what went wrong right there, but it was all around a bad day for him. Let's just call him Gus for right now. Gus had a terrible day. Gus might as well not have gotten out of bed this morning. Probably would have worked out better for him. I don't know if I should waste my time destroying this. Like, is it even worth it at a certain point? I'm a little bit curious if the higher level vehicles give me more loot, though, so... Maybe I'll take a look and see if I can finish it off. Leave no wreckage unspurned. Let's see what we got here. It does not appear as though you get more loot for killing the higher level ones. It still gave him an opportunity. Maybe this one over here will have more. It gave him an opportunity to fix the vehicle anyway, so, man, what are you going to do? You got 10 out. That's not that good, but it's better than nothing. I need to hit a scrapping location to get some more sniper rifle bullets. So let's get up on the hill right here. And once we're up, up and away, we'll destroy this scarecrow on this side, and then there's two scrap points next to it. I'm going to use those to, not refuel, but I'm going to use those to reload a little bit. And, because I bet I still don't, do I have any sniper rounds? Oh, I do. Get him real fast before he causes issues for me. I wonder if his tower will provide me with anything good. Like, can you get sniper rifle bullets from the sniper towers? It might work out like that. I would really prefer not to have to get back up in here, but, oh well. It's a weak scarecrow. Scarecrow making skills are lackluster. Down it goes. Gut Gash's territory gets a little bit less cluttered. We've got two scavenging points here. So we got one on the left and we got one on the right. The one on the right we gotta go all the way around for. So I'm gonna go up to this one over here and we'll check it out. See if maybe we can liquidate a few assets out of the side of people's faces. And once that's done, oh, it looks like we got another scarecrow too, right? Or is that a scarecrow? Oh, it is. How did I miss that one? Interesting. Who are the blades? Oh, the blades, uh, okay, so it's the little, gotcha. I understand now. Thought it was a new gang, but instead it was just the name of the territory we're in. Understandable. Oh, you can make me jump over there? Please don't. I just want to break this thing. I don't really want to be over there. There. And so that leaves us with the water supply. Actually, fairly close. I think I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, though. Took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Nah. I don't know if the humor works. I mean, we're in a vehicle, so that's cool. Oh, there's a duster coming? Shit. Where is it? We gotta outrun it for right now. We don't have much of an option. Definitely don't want to be in this weird highland setting in the middle of it. Oh, never mind. It's just a little duster. It's not the big storm that I was talking about. You saw that in one of the previous episodes where they had that big, nasty storm we had to go through. And it's risky, but you also have a really good opportunity to get a ton of scrap when you go through there. So it's not necessarily the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Come on. Oh, I blocked it, but not in time. There it is. Get worked. Oh, shit. He came through with a knife at the exact same time the other guy came through with his fist. Get out of the way of that. He's going to cut his friend up. Got a perfect parry right there, but then he's out. Come on, pal. Yep, you're next. Put your head right in front of my fist. You might as well make it easy. That drop kick. Every time. It is every time enjoyable. Ooh, I hit two with one punch. That was pretty cool. I'm going to stomp you out, though. You must believe that. Come at me with a knife. Shit's about to get real. You turn this into like a knockout battle into a death struggle. Oh. When did they pull in? I was going to say, it feels like there's more people around right now than there were previously, but I guess that's where they came in from. Got 12 scrap and a shotgun shell out the side right there. Sounds good to me. Got another ammo stack over here, too. Oh, we got a body part right here. Yeah, grab that other car body for me. I mean, it's one of those rockabilly 1950s, 1940s looking bodies, but while I'm not a fan, I'd still like to add it to my collection because I'm a sucker for collecting things like that. More agua. Looking good. Let's grab a little bit more scrap out of here. Is that everything? 
Nope, that's just one. All right, we'll grab more shells over here, too. Oh, that gave us a sniper round. That's good because we were totally out of the... Oh, we got to pull that off with the winch. Or with the winch. Keep calling it a winch for some reason. I don't know. Please, the lights will rustle them. Will rustle what? The jimmies? Pal, we on the internet. Jimmy's already rustled by default out here. That car's got kind of an interesting body. I feel like you'd be able to damage the frame really easily, though. 22 scrap out of there. And the question with this guy becomes, is it worth it to blow its dumb ass? I got extra gas, why not? Enjoy. That only took the armor off. Didn't actually finish it. Okay. Well, we still got our gas can back here, but I ain't gonna use it. Instead, let's back up slightly. See if we can get some loving going right here. Woo! Why is it so much fun blowing shit up? Look, it landed on top of the storage unit right there. That's just the kind of dedication I have to destruction. It redecorates the landscape when I get done. I suppose we could hit the transfer tank over here and just kind of see what happens. Let's go have a look. I still got sniper around, so maybe this will turn out well for us. I don't know if we have time to clear the whole thing, but I can go have a look at it. Got about 10 minutes left in the episode, so it might work out. Is it like a back door right there? What is that? They do have a lot of snipers, and I do don't have a lot of ammo, so... Oh, I gotta pull it with my vehicle. Okay, never mind. I may have dug myself in too deep here. And dick shot. Welcome to the jungle, bitch. Sometimes you gotta get shot in the dick. It is what it is. I don't make the rules. Occasionally, you gotta be a low-down, dirty dick shooter. Gotta do what you gotta do. Welcome to life. Unfortunately, that doesn't leave us with a lot of tactical options for... I should be able to get past here and then if I can get the winch moving we might be able to get I mean it recharges kind of slow so oh you only got to destroy one okay and so we got a gas tank up there that's got to go we, that is not what I desired kind of a waste but what I did want is to get that over there Boom, no more perimeter defenses for you. I'm going to take this sniper round, though. You must believe that, because I am out. Cool. Sniper rounds sound great to me. I've been out for a while, and unfortunately, that has limited our tactical options for the long term here. It's been an issue. It's been a very, very real sniffly issue. Strong gate. Luckily, I upgraded the pulley on this thing, so we should be able to get it up and out of there. All right, we might have to get this a little bit more loving. There it is. All right, taken care of. Let's get inside and see what we can accomplish here. Hey, gents, how's it going? You don't mind if I stop in, do you? Beat you up a little bit. I'm going to jump out the vehicle and we can fight hand to hand. Ow! Okay, all right. You got me with the one-two. But I promise it ain't going to go that well for you in the future. Yep. No, no, no. You don't get the benefit of my shiv. You don't get the benefit of my shiv. You get to take it the hard way, my friend, because you struck me. I'll make this nice and slow. Got some gas over here. Transfer tank. Oh, shit. Down goes that tank. I've got enough water to get by. I think I can kick this down. Try to get the ones with weapons first. The guys that look a little bit tougher than normal. Oh shit, we got a war crier? Where's he at? Where's he? Oh, there he is. Got him. Problem solved. Not a lot of rounds remaining, but you do what you gotta do. That fight looked a little bit bigger than something that I wanted to participate in. There's an achievement for shiv finishers. You gotta kill 30 people with a shiv. And so if I could get that going, I'd be pretty happy with it. Knock him out real quick and take that knife up out his hands. Down he goes. Ah, sure, why not? Nah, I'm not gonna give you the shiv. I'm gonna keep him. Where does the second knife go? Where did he stock the second knife at? 
Maybe it's on the front part of his leg right there. Also, his leg brace. Oh, no, never mind. There it is. Five scrap. Not a whole lot. Let me grab this battle axe looking thing over here. We'll use it in a bit. I ain't got a whole lot of explosives. How many more of these things you figure I gotta blow up before this gets easier? Got a scrotus insignia up here. There's also achievements for like 50 of those, so I might as well destroy them whenever I see them. Transfer tank over on this side. I'm not seeing a lot of explosives. Yeah. Sorry, pal. You know, I'll buy your lonesome. You need to find yourself some friends. Even with friends, you guys aren't faring really, really well. And down he goes. A little bit of scrap in a bin over here. I just want to take the time and thank all of you for gathering the scrap up so that I don't got to walk all over your military base finding it. There's got to be gas storage around here somewhere. That looks like a bunch of gas tanks, but they're empty. What in the hell? Like beer bottle lamps? Cool. Points for ingenuity, I guess. But until we find ourselves some guzzoline, we ain't get nothing done up in here. There's one right there. Although it sort of begs the question, light this guy, drop it, and then I'm gonna go out this way. And just like hope that I make it. There's 11 of these dudes? Oh man, this is a big camp. This is gonna take a little while. This might take more effort than I thought. And down goes your friend. How does it feel to have your friend group go down? That Facebook's getting a lot emptier, isn't it? It's already pretty empty on account of the ho- It was already pretty empty on account of the nuclear holocaust that's occurred. It Was it a nuclear holocaust? I assume it was something like that that happened out here. But, getting thinner and thinner by the day, that is for Shelly. Ah, here's the shit we're looking for. All right, you gents, enjoy. I'm gonna focus on getting hit in the face with random shrapnel. How's that sound? Pick up this guy. Get that transfer tank. There's another one off on the other side. So we're making pretty good ground right now. I don't know if it's gonna be completely and totally manageable, but we're getting there. Off we go with that. That'll fix the problem a little bit further. Another explosion, because I know you guys love those. Who doesn't like a nice injection of orange into an otherwise color barren world? We got one tank left over here. We got a scrap car on that side. So where are the rest of my tankies at? They gotta be underground then, right? Said we're right on top of one, so yeah, it's gotta be down below somewhere. Let me bring this can with me. Oh, it looks like they respawn. Okay, that's cool. Acceptable. So we gotta have an underground entrance around here somewhere. Because we're standing like right on top of what it says are the transfer tanks. So if there's not a... Gotta be like a shaft or a way down around here. Shaft! He's one bad mother. Shut your mouth. Shaft! Uh. Ooh, hey now. What's going on over here? Down goes you. And what did that blow up? Looks like that actually took out two. Maybe they're suspended from these sides over here? It looks like that may indeed be the case. Oh, there's a walkway over here. Okay. Gotcha now. Figured it out. See, I'm not that dense all the time. I just got to look around a little bit more carefully. Let me take one of you gents over here, and I want to see what happens if I blow this tank. Like, will this whole thing fall off over here? Might save us some leg work. Mm. Didn't really look like it helped that much, but it was cool to look at, so whatever. Not going to worry about it now. Swing around the edge of this scaffold over here. This scaffold. 
That sort of looks like one right there, but I can't tell. Yeah, something about these indoor locations that makes my game lag. I have no idea what it is. I get bad frame lag whenever I go inside in this game. It's odd. Very, very weird because otherwise it's silky smooth and buttery. Hey, what's up, guys? I heard y'all like gasoline. I'll probably try and get the little guys first. All right. Block that off. Block. Ah, oh, I thought I had that one. Jump out of the way of that. Oh, there's a bunch of you little dudes in here, aren't there? See if I can get the kill right there. Ah, I was going for the kill. I'm trying to finish them off instead of letting them just like beat on me because they're kind of annoying enemies. They are problematic. Oh, shit. His head was all woozy, so I didn't think he was going to attack, so I just went for it. Is that the last of them? Let's burn this thing up while we're here, shall we? Oh man, this thing goes for days, doesn't it? Jesus. Okay, so... We've got a transfer tank over there. That's cool. I don't care about that. I guess we gotta go this way. Climb down, even though there's really no... You could just drop from that height. It's not so bad. Could be a lot worse. This whole place has kind of like a Blight Town vibe to it. Down goes the gate. We'll go up and over the top. That's going to give us access to two more transfer tanks, as far as I could tell. Got no gasoline, though, so unfortunately, might have to make this work for us rather than waiting for it to work for... I'm sorry, me to work for it. We'll walk back across here. I appreciate the fact that they allow you to carry around gasoline like that while you're going across all the different obstacles. I'll probably just take this one and drop it over here the easy way, and then we'll back up a bit and hope that it doesn't damage anything too much. Right, we got three more left to go. I think there's one up top too, which is problematic, but I'll go back and get that one and just I think there was one still hanging that we missed and you couldn't really tell. Bring the gasoline with me, because I think there's one back over here too. Two down and in here. Man, you can climb that oh shit. Oh no. I don't know if that killed anybody, but it's what to do. Work these guys real fast. Shouldn't need to parry. I should be able to go through them pretty quick. They're kind of like the default bad guys in Batman Arkham Asylum. Not too difficult to mess with. We got some gasoline over here. Hopefully this counts as a multi-tank. That's a big one. Nope, just counts as one. That's okay. I'm not that upset about it. Get you over there. And that leaves us with only the final tank to be dealt with. Oh, that was the last one? Oh, shit. Well, there you go. The hanging one didn't count. Transfer tank's gone. Mission accomplished. Looks like we did a good job right there. I'm going to take a look around off camera and see if I can find anything here. I will see you all later. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Max. Everything that comes after this is just going to be me looting and scooting anyway, so it's stuff you've all seen before. Apparently, we helped out Gut Gash with his problem. This was his lands, so that will make our lives a little bit easier. We'll start up with that in the next episode. How's that sound? I will see you all next time, everybody. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Mad Max. My name is Splattercat. Having a blast playing games with you here today. Trying to be your hero, baby. I'll see you all later. Hi to everybody.